and you see that Nevis is moving full speed ahead, onwards and upward. But coming here tonight, I saw a sign which I asked a question. You have the picture of the candidate for NRP, and under it they say, moving in a new direction. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if we are moving upwards and they want to be in a new direction, it means they're going in a different direction, backwards. And we are not prepared to do that. We are prepared to go forward to make Nevis bigger and better. Great things are happening in Nevis. And during the meeting, you look at the screen and you'll see some of the things, not all, some of the things that we have done as a party to move Nevis forward. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about a party with vision, a party that cares about people, a party that put Nevis first, ladies and gentlemen. And I could say to you, without fear or favor, that none of the candidates of CCM entered politics for their own benefit. But they all have come to serve because they love Nevis. They love Nevis, ladies and gentlemen. And despite what anybody would say, they have stood up and proven to all and sundry that they're the best for Nevis. And so I'm asking, ladies and gentlemen, that when you go to the polls, forget the noise and concentrate on the type of Nevis that you want to see. Think about the Nevis that you want your children and your grandchildren to go up in. And then you must conclude that the only party equipped to move Nevis in that direction is the concerned citizen movement, ladies and gentlemen. And you know, I also observe coming here too that there are a lot of pictures around the place. But if you notice, CCM doesn't have any posters. Latari doesn't have any posters. You ask the question, why? Well, because everybody knows them. They're not Johnny come lately. So wherever you go, you can call the name of any candidate for the constant citizens movement, and they're readily known. So we don't have to put up pictures, oh, this is how it looks. Everybody knows the candidate for the concerned citizens movement. And so St. Thomas says, understand this. One, one representative can form a government. And so you must change your trajectory. We are bringing to you Latoya Jones. And Latoya will sit in cabinet with Honorable Mark Bentley, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, the Honorable Spencer Brand, the Honorable Eric Evelyn. You don't want a better team than that. So I'm saying to you, if you give a Latoya the chance, St. Thomas's will be transformed. You have heard the plans that she has laid out for St. Thomas's. Ambitious plans, but plans that can work because she has done most of them already. She has been in the community, touching base, shaking hands, finding out what do you need. And I'm saying to the people of St. Thomas's, the best person to represent them, I mean, really represent St. Thomas's, is Latoya Jones. I know who I'm voting for come Monday. I know who I'm voting for. And I'm voting for LBJ, Latoya Jones. And I'm asking all of you, under the sound of my voice, to give Latoya the chance. And she'll prove to you that she is definitely the best for St. Thomas's. CCM team is strong, ladies and gentlemen. CCM team is dedicated. And despite all the people that try to throw at the CCM, 
system comes back time after time after time after time. Because people have seen. People have seen the transformation in Nevis. Only those who refuse to see say nothing is happening. But even the blindest man in Nevis knows that Nevis is on the move. Nevis is on the move in every sector, ladies and gentlemen. And why is it? It is not by chance, but it's by careful planning. It's by visionary leadership that we are where we are today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is St. Thomas's time now. It is St. Thomas's time now. And I'm imploring you. It doesn't matter what you did before. It doesn't matter who your family voted for before. You now must come and make the change because you are better for yourself, you are better for your community, and you are better for your children. And ladies and gentlemen, I am sure that once you have given a toy vote, once you can win the election, things will change over here in St. Thomas. You see, the system in government, we have done work in St. Thomas. But the truth about it is, St. Thomas needs its own voice. And in Latoya Jones, you have somebody who will agitate, agitate and beg and ask and do what she has to do to ensure that St. Thomas is part of the fold. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to understand that you are important to the concerned citizens movement. You are important to the concerned citizens movement. And if you give us a chance once again, we will show you that the plans that we have will continue to transform Nevis. Ladies and gentlemen, because there are no issues that the opposition can raise. They go on social media and post all sorts of nonsense. And I said to myself, maybe they have all the onset of amnesia. Because one poor I saw said that um, CCM wastes some money with the geothermal well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you could remember well, who dug those well? Was NRP, but not blame the CCM. So I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, forget the noise. And one thing I want to point out to you, Latoya is quite big on small businesses. She has a plan for small business here in St. Thomas. And I want to warn you, ladies and gentlemen, Lest you forget, while Latoya is saying she wants to build small businesses, the only government in Nevis that has ever taken over local small business is the NRP. I want you to remember, they walked into the cable team and took it over. Because perhaps they didn't like what they were showing or what they were saying. So when you start your new business, if you were, to vote for NRP, then your small business may just be taken over. Whereas, on the other hand, system encourages small business. System gives incentives to small business. So small business can go to medium size and medium size to large companies. So we are in it for the people. So ladies and gentlemen, this call, this clarion call comes over the airwaves to all and sundry. It is now St. Thomas's time. It is now St. Thomas's time. And so you have no other choice, ladies and gentlemen, than to allow Latoya Jones to lead you into greener pastures. Ladies and gentlemen, as we go during this campaign, we we'll continue. We we'll continue to roll out 
our plan. The plan for not only St. Thomas's, but for Nevis on the whole. We are going places, ladies and gentlemen. We are going places in every sector we have improved. In tourism, in housing, in health, in education, in every single sector. We have improved. And I said, it is not by chance, but it's by careful planning and visionary leadership. And that is what is needed in Nevis today. And we in the system bring to you that visionary leadership, that careful planning, and caring, caring representative, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, Latoya Jones, she grew up right here among you. She fought bombs, God. She's one of yours. She is one of yours. And she, today, when I looked at Latoya, she had a little problem. But she said, no, I'm going to write my name down. I'm going to get nominated. Telling to the whole world that things have changed in St. Thomas's. And Monday, we're going to make it come to reality. Because they're going to go out in our numbers and we're going to vote for Latoya Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we need all five seats. We need all five seats. We don't want to hear anybody say, no, 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 no. We want five seats and we're going to take Nevis forward. So, ladies and gentlemen, Monday, when you go to the polls in Charlestown, when you go to the polls in Charleston, ladies and gentlemen, you must vote for Spencer Brand. You have no choice. You must vote for Spencer Brand. The only brand in town who has worked and worked and worked for Charleston, Nevis one. So, vote for Spencer. Then when you go to constituency number two, that is where the sheriff is, where the premier is, who has worked tirelessly night and day and day and night to ensure that Nevis moves forward and upward. And so I'm saying to you, you have to vote for our leader, the Honorable Mark Brantley. Well, I hear, I also heard a, a little clip, and if the opposition voted for him, it means everyone must vote for him. Vote for him. And then after we leave St. John's, we're going up to Gingerland. We're going up to Gingerland, ladies and gentlemen. And up there, you find Eric Evelyn, the man of the people, the man for the people, who moving Gingerland forward, ladies and gentlemen. And so, and let me tell you, let me tell you, I must say, Gingerland, I was a bit, I was a bit disturbed last election because the fellow got a bit too much. I was a bit disturbed. So this time now, we are going to show him the full force of Eric and CCM, and we're going to. Well, you said the word. So that is true. But three is not enough. We are accustomed to three seats. So we got around to number four. Alexis Jeffers. And ladies and gentlemen, Alexis has one thing to do. To retire the, the leader of the opposition once and for all. And so I'm asking the people of St. James to come out in their numbers. Vote for Alexis Jeffers. He is the man for you. And then when you come, when you come to number five, St. Thomas's, the beautiful, the young, the vibrant, the intelligent Latoya Jones, you must vote for Latoya Jones, ladies and gentlemen. You have no choice. You must vote for Latoya Jones. And I'm looking forward to the morning or late Monday night to hear Latoya Johnson 
has been returned as the candidate for Nibu 5. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do it. And if you love Nibus, we must do it. I'm counting on you. System is counting on you. And Nibus is counting on you. Let us go out and get it done, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before I get carried away, I remind myself that I'm here to cheer. So, so ladies and gentlemen, I have to buy myself. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring to the microphone, I want to bring to the microphone to speak to us. The Honorable Eric Evelyn, the man who has never lost a box. Never lost a box. And he can win this time bigger and better. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Honorable Eric Evelyn. My name is Eric Evelyn. I represent the constituency of St. George, Gingerland, that's Nevis 3. I have been the representative for the past five years. I am absolutely the best candidate for St. George, Gingerland. Why? Because I've always been embedded in the community. I am community minded. I'm involved in practically everything in my community of St. George, Gingerland. There are several projects in my constituency that I'm particularly proud of. We now have a vocational center at the Gingerland Secondary School. The biggest project for me, the one that I'm extra, extra proud of, is the David Freeman Center of Excellence. And that is by far my largest project and one that I am super proud of. The center is very widely utilized because we are now having classes in masquerade dancing, in fife playing, in other cultural acts. We have graduation being held there. We have church activities being held there. And it is an excellent, I think it was an excellent investment by the Nevis Island administration for us to have that center there in Gingerland. Of course, since I've been the representative as well, we've had numerous road projects as well. And so the work continues. We have a lot more to do. And so that is why the people of St. George Gingerland must continue Hello. to invest their trust and, and their confidence. And it is a pleasure. It is a pleasure for us to be here in Cotton Ground tonight. And I want I want by after the 12th of December, we can label Cotton Ground and St. Thomas's as CCM country. We want that after the 12th of December 2022, Cotton Ground and St. Thomas's will become CCM country. Ladies and gentlemen, Today has been a very special day for the Concerned Citizens Movement. And today, today, we have been nominated. And so, because your five representative or five candidates have been nominated, it shows that it's getting mighty close. It's getting mighty close to the day. It's getting mighty close to the 12th of December. And so the countdown has started, ladies and gentlemen. The countdown has started to the victory. We will be marching to victory. And so you can start counting day, down the days. And you can start counting down the hours. You can start counting down the minutes. You can start counting down the seconds. Because come the 12th of December, the 12th of December, on the 13th of December, when the sun rises in the east, it will be another CCM-led Nevis Island administration. And you know what can be so sweet about that? You know what can be so sweet about that? Your representative, Latoya, will be in that number. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we have been nominated today. It was a fabulous day. The CCM had the vibes. 
the blue team had the vibes. Because you know what? We are rolling to victory. And so today, today we started at the Cove. And then we made our way up to St. George, Gingerland, Nevis 3. And we went down to the Hanley's Road, the Charles Walters Community Center in Hanley's Road, where yours truly was nominated. And you know, it's always good when we start in Nevis 3. Because you know what? We started there with the nomination, and we're going to start there with the winning too. Because I know, come the 12th of December, Nevis 3 coming in first. We will be coming in first. And so we started up there today in Hanley's Road, my hometown, my home country of Hanley's Road. And then after we left there, the big blue machine rolled over into guess where? Nevis 4, Alexis Jeffers country. And I know a lot of people here repping Alexis tonight. So let me hear Alexis people make some noise tonight. We're going to wake up the whole of Cotton Ground. We're going to wake up the whole of St. Thomas's tonight. And we went to the police station over in St. James, Newcastle Police Station. And then after the ladies and gentlemen, your blue convoy made its way over to the Cotton Ground Police Station for the nomination of who? The nomination of Latoya Bianca Jones, the next representative for St. Thomas's Parish. And Latoya placed her name right there. And that means, that means St. Thomas's Parish, come the 12th of December, Latoya Bianca Jones will be on the ballot for the CCM. It will be in the column of the CCM. And next to Latoya Bianca Jones, you will see the sign of the hammer. And that is where you'll be placing your ex. And then after that, ladies and gentlemen, we headed into the heart of the city, into Charlestown, to the magistrate court in Charlestown. We are the only brand in town. The Honorable Spencer Brand was nominated. And then finally, and then finally, ladies and gentlemen, we went to the Alberta Payne Community Center in Bath Village, where the sheriff, the one and only sheriff in town, Dr. The Honorable Mark A. G. Brantley, our leader, your leader, our premier, and the next premier after December 12th was nominated, ladies and gentlemen. And so, the full slate, the full slate of your candidates have been nominated. And ladies and gentlemen, this is serious times. Because now we have been nominated. Now the names have been placed on the nomination papers. It's time to get serious because we have only another week, another week to bring the victory home for the people of Nevis. And we can only do it with your help. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here tonight in Latoya's country. We are here in Cotton Ground. And we know, ladies and gentlemen, Cotton Ground has been inching and inching and inching towards the CCM. And I have a good feeling that come the 12th of December, when the ballots are counted from the Cotton Ground Community Center, Latoya, Bianca, Jones will be in the lead. And you know, you know, we are giving to you. The Concerned Citizens Movement is giving to you the people of Cotton Ground and the people of St. Thomas's Parish. A very hardworking, committed, dedicated, brilliant, intelligent, energetic individual in the person of Latoya Bianca Jones. We have seen Latoya at work even before she came into politics. 
Alatoya has always been a hard worker, always been with the people. And of course, you, the people of Cotton Ground, you, the people of all the surrounding areas, of Barnes Gut, of Westbury, you have seen her on the road. You see how committed she is to your cause. And I believe come election day, you will answer the call and you will go to the polls and vote in overwhelming numbers for Latoya. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, there has been a lot of good things that have been happening in Nevis 5, in St. Thomas's parish. And as I reflect, and if so many good things are happening in St. Thomas's, and Latoya hasn't been elected yet, could you imagine what will happen when you send her to government? And send her to government, you will. And send her to government, you must, on the 12th of December. Ladies and gentlemen, when we look around Nevis, we see so much happening. But let us zero in a bit tonight on St. Thomas's Parish. And when you leave Charlestown to come to St. Thomas's Parish, one of our prized possessions that we have on the island of Nevis, recently constructed the Malcolm Gishard Recreational Park. And ladies and gentlemen, everybody loves the Malcolm Gishard Recreational Park. The people absolutely love it. Everybody goes there, marvel. They are in awe to see the excellent work that has been done by your caring CCM-led Nevis Island administration. And that is in St. Thomas's Parish. And the work hasn't stopped there, you know. Because you know we just got some monies recently. And we're going to per be pursuing phase two of the Malcolm Gishard Recreational Park. And as I said, it is a part of St. Thomas's parish. And so the people of St. Thomas's ought to be proud. You ought to be very proud that the Malcolm Gishard Recreational Park sits in your parish. You know, every time we go to the Malcolm Gishard Park, the, the management and staff at the park say, Lord have mercy, this park is so heavily utilized. It's almost every day. It's almost every afternoon. It's almost every night something happening at the park. And the people on the other side have the gall to say that nothing is happening. But you know the beauty about it is? The beauty about it, they're using it too. They're using it too. Yes, they are using it too. Because when they had their fundraiser recently, they went to the Malcolm Gishard Recreational Park. Well, how come they say nothing happening? How can... Why well, you say they were drinking? Stones, wine, and panches. <laughs> so it shows. It shows that even though they say nothing is happening, they are acknowledging that things and good things are happening on the island of Nevis and good things are happening in St. Thomas's parish as well. As for St. Thomas's people, you are not forgotten. Never mind, some would say that, oh, St. Thomas's doesn't have a representative in government. It shows that your CCM administration cares for the whole of Nevis. And we will ensure that development comes to all the constituencies of Nevis. And so we have our lovely Malcolm Gishard Recreational Park. Ladies and gentlemen, when we look up there to our left, one of the better housing developments, and I know Alexis Gunvex, I gonna say the better ones are over in St. James. But when you go up to Cahoon, when you go up to Cahoon, and I believe right now it is the only development where practically all of the utility lines are underground. You go up to Cahoon and you don't you hardly see any poles up there. All the lines are on the ground. And it shows that Nevis is moving in the right direction. It shows that St. Thomas's Parish is moving in the right direction on the CCM. And it can only get better 
for you, the people of Cotton Ground, for you, the people of St. Thomas's, when you send that Toya, Bianca, Jones to government. We have said over and over again that we already have a chair reserved in the cabinet for Latoya. Because, ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake. Make no mistake about it. Come the 13th of December, CCM will be back in government. And you can take that to the bank. You can take it to the bank. CCM will form the next government on Nevis. And we want Natoya to be in a chair in cabinet. Ladies and gentlemen, as I spoke about the Malcolm Gishard Park, of course we know that down just below the park, we have several restaurants and more are going up. It shows that people have confidence in the island of Nevis and the environment that your administration has. It shows that people have the confidence and they are investing on Nevis and they are investing in St. Thomas's Parish. Right opposite the Malcolm Gishard Park, we see several wonderful buildings going up there. We have the Nevitalia restaurant. We have duty-free shopping for liquor and perfume. And of course, we, we, we see some apartments going up there as well. Of course, the prestigious Four Seasons Resort which has undergone so many improvements. Five-star hotel in the heart of St. Thomas's. We see all of the good work that is happening now at Paradise Beach. And Paradise Beach Hotel is like a little hidden gem because a lot of people pass on the main road and they don't know what a fantastic facility, what a fantastic hotel Paradise Beach really is. And because they have such confidence on the island of Nevis, they are now building their new kitchen that was destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, things are happening in Nevis and things are happening in St. Thomas's on the CCM. Of course, we have two international banks, not one, but two international banks in St. Thomas's parish. Ladies and gentlemen, now if the environment wasn't created by your CCM administration, would these banks even set up shop? Would they even consider establishing themselves on the island of Nevis? It shows that your CCM team has the vision and we are ensuring that persons who come to invest, we have the climate and we have the policies in place for them to invest, ladies and gentlemen. So St. Thomas's is moving in the right direction. And... And if you want St. Thomas's to move even more, ladies and gentlemen, that lovely Latoya Bianca Jones must be sent to government. Now that we have been nominated, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have been nominated, it is time for us. It is time for all of us who are part of this big, great movement the CCM, that we start to call and visit our friends, our neighbors, our families. We have to ensure that people have their voter ID card and that it is not expired. And if it is expired, we must have a current ID, whether it's a passport, a driver's license, a social security card, because people have been asking, people have been asking, and we must continue to have people get the information that they need so that they can go out to the polls come December the 12th. We must remind persons that if you have lost your voter ID, if your voter ID is expired, that does not mean you should stay home. That does not mean you should stay home and do not vote. Get out your passport. Get out your um, social security card. Get out your driver's license. And if you don't have any of that, go to the electoral office and get your new voter ID ready. Because we want, ladies and gentlemen, we want all five, all five. As the chairman trust said tonight, we not gambling with our future on the island of Nevis. 
We can't turn back now. We can't turn back the hands of time. Things are going too well on the island of Nevis, on the CCM, for us to turn back. We cannot turn back, ladies and gentlemen. And it is because we can't turn back. And it is because we know, it is because we are confident that CCM will form the next government, why it is so important for the people of St. Thomas to come home to the big blue machine. We have a lot of seat for you, ladies and gentlemen. We know that here in St. Thomas's, it has traditionally been the support of the opposition. But you know what? You know what? In this coming election, we ain't want no lone ranger. We ain't want no lone ranger. And if you vote for the opposition, it will be another lone ranger in parliament who cannot do anything for you. We ain't want any lone ranger. And so the people of St. Thomas's and Cotton Ground, you must make up your mind what you want. Whether you want to stay out in the wilderness in the opposition or whether you want to be in government. And trust me, it is better when you have a representative in cabinet to speak for you and to represent you. And that is why come election day, Latoya Bianca Jones is all the way with LBJ. It has to be all the way with LBJ because as I said, you have seen all of the great things that are happening on the, on, in St. Thomas's. You have seen all of the great things that are happening on the island of Nevis. And when you send Latoya to government, it will get even better. It will get even better. Now, ladies and gentlemen, of course, as I said, today, today we had our nomination day. And we are very confident that come the 12th of December, the people of Nevis and most of the people of St. Thomas's will do the right thing. I want you to start trying to find out where your voting station will be. Because we don't want on election day anybody to be running here, there, and everywhere and wondering where they have to vote. So start asking questions so you can be reliably informed from the onset where you have to go on election day. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, today has been special nomination day. And we have a slate of candidates before you which is the best slate that you can think of. The absolute best on the island. We have the cream of the crop, the creme de la crop of Nevis, and we have put the cream of the crop, the A team, the dream team before you. And that is why we want all members of the dream team to be sitting in cabinet. And so, and so, and so in Nevis, one, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Honorable Spencer Brand. And we know what Spencer has done. It's there to be seen. Only the blind saying that nothing happened in Charlestown. Only the blind. And even people who are blind sometimes can glimpse a little bit. And so they can see what is happening. And even they can see, they can hear, because they can hear when all of the heavy equipment walking. They can hear as well. And so it is very evident what Spencer has done in town. And so on election day, the only brand in town, Spencer brand, we want you to go out and send him back to government to continue the great work that he has done. Ladies and gentlemen in Nevis too, in St. John's, in St. John's, the seat what they always after and they can't get. The seat that they always after and can't get. They can't get it because the Honorable Mark Bradley holds that seat and he will hold it again come December 12th and 13th. And so I know the people of St. John's will do the right thing on election day. And when you roll up, when you roll up, to St. George Gingerland, into Nevis 3, 
Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. When you roll up to Nevis 3, it is all over right up there. It is all over in Nevis 3. Make no mistake about it. The people of St. George, Gingerland, they are sticking with Eric Evelyn because I am the best. I will always be the best for up there and forget the rest. And when we go over to Alexis country, Nevis 4, going over to Nevis 4, Alexis Jeffers, Alexis Jeffers, the man who is always on the go, the man who is always working for the people. And I know the people of St. James will say yes one more time to Alexis Jeffers. And ladies and gentlemen, let me slow down for this one. Let me slow down for this one. Because when we come to Nevis 5, St. Thomas's Parish, St. Thomas's Parish, are you ready? Are you ready for Latoya Bianca Jones? I know you are ready. I know Nevis is ready. I know the Nevis Island Administration is ready. I know the Nevis Island Administration Cabinet is ready. I know the Nevis Island Assembly is ready. And ladies and gentlemen, you see how good she already representing us in Parliament in St. Kitts? She got to go in the Parliament up here too. She have to go to the Parliament up here. But you, the people of Cotton Ground and St. Thomas's Parish, you must ensure that happens. And so I'm asking you, on the 12th of December, ladies and gentlemen, Cotton Ground and all of St. Thomas's, put your vote beside the hammer. It will be hammer time. It will be building time with Latoya Bianca Jones. And it will be all five, all five for CCM, Come December the 12th. Lord of mercy, I'm just warming up, but I got to come off the stage now. <laughs> because you know what? You know what? Because I'm feeling the victory. I'm feeling the victory already. I'm feeling the victory already. The victory breeze already blowing. Boy, when we, when we went through Nevis today with that, with that motorcade and that road march, that road march, Listen, we only warming up. We only warming up for the massive motorcade that will come. The massive victory motorcade that will come. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's my quota for tonight. It's always a pleasure to visit the good folks here in Cotton Ground. And once again, come election day. Go out in your numbers and support LBJ all the way. Tell it, I tell her the victory gun start, you know. We gone clear. We gone clear. Show me your body finger. Show me your body finger. Show, show me your body finger. Put him up, put him up, put him up. Show me your body finger. Show me your body finger. Show, show me your body finger. Show put them up in the air. Listen, nobody got vibes like the CCM, eh? Nobody got vibes like the CCM, the big blue machine. When this big blue machine start to roll, nobody got vibes like us. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now make room and invite to the podium our next speaker, the only brand in town. The only brand in town, Mr. Honorable Spencer Brand.
Good night, good night, good night, good night, everybody. My voice is not 100% tonight, but I felt that I had to come and give even a five minutes tonight. I want to say a very pleasant good evening to all of you who are here in the heart of Cotton Ground. I am beginning to see the sea of blue expanding here in Cotton Ground. I want to say a very pleasant good evening to all those who are listening and viewing our meeting here in Cotton Ground tonight. I believe that what we saw today was indeed a remarkable day when it came to nomination day for the Concerned Citizens Movement Party. I was thinking that I would sit out this meeting tonight because my voice is not 100%. But when I saw Miss Jones on her crutches today, I said, no, I have to go and give my support to Latoya in Congong tonight. I said, no. I have to go to Cotton Ground and give my support to Miss Latoya Jones tonight. I could have sat in my vehicle or stay home, but I thought that based on the courage that I saw from Latoya today, it was the right thing to do to come here and give my support to Miss Jones, whether my voice is 10%. Or 50% or 100%. You see, I want to say to the people of St. Thomas's tonight that what you saw from Miss Jones today on her crutches, unable to walk, it shows the courage that she has and the dedication that she has to the people of St. Thomas's. She said to herself, Come. Hell or high water, she will be nominated to represent the people of St. Thomas's today. She was at the hospital, I was told, and she said, Doctor, no, I can't stay here today. She said, No, I have to go and be with my people. I have to go and stand up for my people. I have to go and represent. The people of St. Thomas's. So I could not have disappointed Latoya tonight. I want to say to her tonight, rest well and take it easy. I want to ask all of us to pray for her and ask God's divine intervention on her and bring her back to full health and full strength very quickly because she has a job to do for the people of St. Thomas's. She has to represent the people of St. Thomas's in Parliament. Now, ladies and gentlemen, don't be surprised if my voice cut out, but I have to speak tonight. I have to speak tonight. You know, somebody sent me a message earlier and said to me, that they only had about eight or nine vehicles in the Nevis Reformation Party motorcade on nomination there. I said to them, well, it's a matter for them. I said to the person, whether they had nine vehicles or 99 vehicles, they will lose this election. Whether they had nine vehicles and 99 vehicles, the Nevis Reformation Party will lose this election. You know why? You know why NRP will lose? NRP will lose this election because they're not ready yet. They're not ready for prime time yet. They're not ready to stand up for the people of Nevis yet. They are not ready. I am saying to you tonight that this Concerned Citizens Movement Party is the only party that is ready for prime time in this country. 
we have a leader that has been proven and tested and keeps standing up for the people of Nevis. And when our leader, the Premier of Nevis, asked the NRP leader to stand with the people of Nevis, she said not she. She said not the NRP. We went to them and we asked them to stand with the people of Nevis on the fight against COVID and they said not them. They say not them. They say, are you Gulang? Gulang about your business. And I thought, good night. Good night. I thought. <laughs> hey, what did you man? Um, can we got a song? We got a body bed. We want this song. But ladies and gentlemen. The reason why they are not go going to win this election is because they're not ready yet. They're not serious. They're up and down the place. They're up and down the place saying that nothing has happened in Nevis. And I said in Hamilton that they are trying to mislead and deceive the people of Nevis by saying that nothing is happening in Nevis. I said in Hamilton that they have become a stranger to the truth. But I will point out to you, ladies and gentlemen, right here in Cotton Ground, right here in Cotton Ground, on the CCM, we see the reconstruction of the road from right here in Cotton Ground all the way over to Cliff Dwellers. Isn't that in St. Thomas's? Isn't that something that has happened in St. Thomas's? And they have said that nothing has happened. I submit to you that they continue to try and deceive the people of Nevis. We have a bank up in Bansgut that came to Nevis on the system that has created jobs for persons right here in St. Thomas's. And they have said that nothing has happened in Nevis. I am saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, they are not serious. They are not serious. We have seen the expansion of the housing project just up the road here. Lovely homes, beautiful homes, and they have said that nothing is happening in Nevis. We have seen the construction of the Malcolm Gishard Recreational Park right here again in St. Thomas's, but yet they say nothing has happened. But I want to say to St. Thomas's, my message to you tonight is very simple. Very simple. Come home to CCM. My message to St. Thomas's tonight is to come home to CCM. You have seen the courage of Miss Jones today. You have seen the commitment of Miss Jones today. You have seen the fight of Miss Jones today. And I'm saying to you, there should be only one choice in St. Thomas's in this election, and that must be Miss Latoya Jones as your next representative in parliament ladies and gentlemen i would say to you that miss jones agitated for the reconstruction of the wall at the cotton ground play field officer where's the officer we do not want any disrespectful language here on our campaign so I am asking the officer to kindly ask this gentleman. He either sees and desists from those kind of language or be removed from in front of. That is going through our microphone system. And that is not what we want our listeners and audience to be hearing. Ladies and gentlemen, I will continue. I am saying to you tonight that Ms. Jones agitated for the reconstruction of the wall here at the Cotton Ground play field. And we were able to oblige to her to ensure that that wall was reconstructed. If it is that out of government that she have already begun to achieve for the constituency of St. Thomas's, you can only imagine what she can achieve when she becomes your next representative of St. Thomas's. St. Thomas's. I am asking you 
to entrust your confidence in Ms. Jones in this election. I am asking you to give Ms. Jones a chance to be your next representative. And I can assure you that she will not disappoint you. Because she is a part of a team that has a one Nevis policy. Where we will see development throughout the length and breadth of the entire island of Nevis. Because we have done that, even though St. Thomas does not have an elected member in cabinet. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, as I said, my message to you is very simple. Give your support to Mrs. Ms. Jones. Allow her to be your next representative. Give her a chance. Give her a chance to sit at the table. Give her a chance to be your voice in cabinet and in parliament. Give her a chance to continue to agitate for the constituency of St. Thomas's. And you will be rest assured that she will deliver for you, ladies and gentlemen. I want to take this opportunity and congratulate all of my colleagues who were nominated today. In St. John's, Nevis number two, we had our premier, the Honorable Mark Brantley. And I want to congratulate him on being nominated today. In Gingerland, we had the Honorable Eric Evelyn as the next representative who was nominated today. In St. James's, we had the Honorable Alexis Jeffers as the nominee for St. James's today. In St. Thomas's, we had the courageous Latoya Jones who was nominated today. And in St. Paul's, ladies and gentlemen, you had yours truly, Spencer Brand, as the nominee and your next representative of St. Paul. I want to say to all of my colleagues a very big thank you. We did ourselves proud today. And on the 12th of December, it will be your turn to do Nevis proud. So on the 12th of December, ladies and gentlemen, there will be only one choice. There must be only one choice on the 12th of December. And that will be the Concerned Citizens Movement Party. All five for me. CCM will be the next government. Thank you. Good night. And God bless. I am Spencer Brand, the area representative of the constituency of St. Paul's Charlestown. My aim is to ensure that we continue growth and development of the constituency of St. Paul's and certainly by extension, the island of Nevis. We want to continue to ensure that we see our roads infrastructure development around the constituency. For Charlestown, our only town, we want to ensure that we see an upgrade in our drainage situation in the heart of Charlestown. I am a Nivision born, bred and raised. And I think that uh, I am, what you, what you see is what you get. You know, I am someone who believes that our greatest asset is our people. And I believe that if we have that uh, harmonious thrust towards developing our people, then I believe that we can achieve great things together. My name is Alexis Zook Jeffers, and I am the current representative for Nevis 4 St. James Parish in the Nevis Island Assembly. And I have been the representative of St. James for the past 10 years. And over those 10 years, I have demonstrated my love and commitment to the people of St. James. As such, I'm seeking the support of the people of St. James once again to continue the hard work and dedication that I have demonstrated over the past 10 years and I am willing to put myself up once again to ensure that we continue with the transformation of the constituency of St. James. So vote for Alexis Jeffers, vote for the Concerned Citizens Movement in this upcoming elections. My name is Latoya Bianca Jones and I am the candidate for Nevis 5, St. 
St. Thomas Parish in this upcoming local elections. I wish I was born and raised in St. Thomas's Parish. I would have left when I went to university, um, that's Mono College in New York, but I've been involved in my community from an early age, so that is where I've been. That's my foundation and I still reside in St. Thomas's to this day. Running for office for me, it's about people. I have always wanted to serve. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cotton Ground, good night. Well, when I say Cotton Ground, good night, I can't just stop at that. I got to cover the whole of St. Thomas Parish. Cohoon is hearing me. I believe Joseph Parry is hearing me tonight. We are right in his backyard. We go up to Westbury, come down to uh, Clifton Estate, Kids Bay, all the way over here to Cotton Ground and into Jessup's into Craddock Road. Everybody's hearing me tonight. Let's go up to Bans Got, Latoya Town and Country. Who are you from Bans Got? Well, if you're here from Bans Got, still make some noise. All over is right. We're here tonight to support Latoya Brianka Jones. LBJ, as they say, LBJ all the way. And LBJ is not here tonight, but we're here to support her anyway. And that is what we do as a family. As a family, we support one and all. You saw today, even though she had some difficulties, we were there to lend her support. But Latoya will bounce back. And it reminds me of a basketball game. I believe it was Will Chamberlain, Michael Jordan. All of them got injured from time to time. Go to the dressing room and come back in full flow and full living colors and come back and do the job. Those of you who follow basketball or even cricket, when somebody retire hurt and come back, she hasn't retired out. She has an injury and she'll be back. And what I'm going to say to the people of St. Thomas Parish, the courage that was shown by Latoya this morning, the courage and the strength and the determination that was shown, suggests to me that when she's elected as a representative of St. Thomas Parish, she will show that same grit. That same determination and that same strength. And I say to you from the start of my presentation, give Latoya Brianka Joan that chance. She has come to you and she's asking you to give her that chance. And I know you will be proud of Latoya when it's all said and done. Because she has been here among you for the last, how old is she? 30 plus years. 31 so you have seen her from a babe. She went to adulthood or to teenage years and now she's an adult. And she has been here all the days of her life until she went abroad and studied and came back, of course. But she, she has been back. She has been contributing to her community, contributing to the development of the parish of St. Thomas's and also to the island of Nevis. So Brianka Jones, Latoya, that is, is your lady down here. I'll come back to Latoya because I can talk about her all night, but I'll have some good minutes at the end to spend on her. But I want to say that today I was fortunate to be nominated as the next representative. You see, I don't jump past election, you know. I was nominated, but I was nominated to be the next representative of St. James. So confident I am. I can speak like this because, you know, I keep saying from time to time, NRP continue to sell their supporters false hope. They're selling them false hope, thinking that they have a chance to win anything in Nevis. I have seen the best of NRP in the past, the best they had to offer. That was in 2011 and 2013 with Parry Hector and Hensley and them. But these that I'm seeing here now, I don't know what they are. I can tell you CCM is the best party on show right now. The best team to lead the island of Nevis. So the CCM being the best is coming up against the rest that the NRP is showing at us. I want to say to you, when you make the comparison, all five of the CCM candidates against all five of the candidates of the NRP, there's hardly much difference. 
or hardly much comparison, I should say. Hardly much comparison because when you compare leadership, the Honorable Mark Brantley, who have been the leader of this great party since 2017, came up behind the Honorable Van Sam, we learned from him, contributed to the island of Nevis in such a way that he can now lead this party and this island into prosperity. I say, well, where else are you going to look for a leader? You can't look to the other side. Somebody just came up after 20 years of sleeping over there in Round Hill, wake up one morning and said, I want to run. And you know, it wasn't her own decision to run. The orders came from Sink. It's the old fellow over the team hotel I go run. Because after CCM won the three seats in 2020, when we went over the federal parliament, the old team said say he no want to see three CCM down there. So he sent this lady. Tell her go and run and try and get rid of CCM and Zook over in St. James. Well, we ain't gonna vote for nobody who ain't come on their own volition on their own account to run over there. No. We're going to shun that type of people there over there. But you go on further and you see number two. Who up in number two? Oh, let's move on because I ain't even want to spend the time on the, the candidate in number two. Neither number three, neither number four, neither number five. Because I said to you before that CCM represent the best. And we are coming up against the rest. So if you're looking for the best to guide this, this island, if you are looking for the best to lead this island into the next five years, when we know that the challenges of the last five, we were able to overcome those challenges, I will say to you, CCM represent the best team to lead the island of Nevis forward. You know, yesterday somebody sent me a little clip about the NRP talking about airport land and the lands we bought down there by the the Wally Water Taxi Facility. And I tell the person I don't want to hear about no land from NRP. The only party in this island shouldn't be talking about lands is NRP. The only party that should keep them out shut when it comes to lands here on the island of Nevis is NRP. We have one of the best track records in the CCM when it comes to lands and the sale and purchase of lands. So they're talking about airport lands. I already don't forget about that because we don't know. They paid the Yahweh's $4 million for lands that the people of Nevis, the Honorable Van Samuel said, and I agree with him, them land, they are with land, should have been our land since 1950. We have occupied those lands. I'm not going to go into the legal jargon. But they went and paid Yahweh, but they didn't even do it above the table. Under the table, they sent it to Craft House account, all kind of account. So where they get nerve to come and talk about lands? Well, I want to ask this question while I'm here, since I believe Joseph Parry came out of retirement to go into the studio to defend this $4 million. Well, Joseph Parry, let me ask you a question. The NRP, let me ask you all a question, because whether it was under Joseph Parry or under any other leader in this country, a question must be asked. So I want to ask the question tonight. What has become of the $27 million that was left in Scotia Bank to pay for those lands over there at Nugent Heights. What has become of the almost $58 million that was derived from the sale of the 600 acres of lands up there next to Four Seasons? I want you all to add up, you know, because some millions of dollars been a bark in this island here. So when you hear them say they didn't have to beg Sink, it's nothing. They didn't have to beg Denzel Douglas, nothing because they had money. Well, Van Samri and his team left money behind. Good money too. Those lands over there, 730 acres of lands, were bought for just about 10 million US dollars. Let me put it in easy so that all of us understand. 27 million dollars and when they sold the first 600 acres, that is the CCM, 10 million dollars US or 27 million EC was left in an account there at Scotia Bank to pay for the lands in Trinidad. NRP collected 21 and a half million US dollars or 58 million EC dollars for the sale of the 600 acres of land. Not only that, there was about 30 plus acres that were sold in quarter acre lots. Those lots were sold for between $98,000 and $119,000. When it was all said and done, one transaction realized almost $85 million. 
85 million dollars and like i said 10 million dollars or 27 million dollars of that was left right in scotia bank to pay for those lands so the company in trinidad the company in trinidad was never paid by the nrp for those lands we came back in government in 2013 and the first question was asked of us where is the money trinidad came you know the people flying up on the private jet and said they're going to sue the nia they said they're going to sue scotia bank they said they're going to sue everybody for their money i had to beg hollow ball and plead to them write to them and tell them lord we can't take a suit right now no money there that's 2013 and some may not want to go back there but we have to go back because as I said before on previous occasion, whether it's NRP, the new NRP, the new new NRP, or revamp NRP, all of them are the same NRP. So that is why we have to go back because we cannot make the mistake and go back to where we once were. So they came and they said they were going to sue the NIA. I told them we'll pay. We have to pay them $21,500 every month, which is $58,000 EC dollars from since 2013 until now. We have now paid over $6.9 million to Trinidad, monies that we should not have been paying. Monies should have been paid a long time ago. So we have had to pay that. So uh, Joseph Parry and the NRP should not be talking about lands in this island. They went and take over 14 pieces of lands from people, poor people in Nevis, and never paid them a penny. And you know the interesting thing? I'm going to go back one, one track. You see those same lands over there at Nugent Heights? They sold the lands. Collected money. Never paid Trinidad. But you know, people right here in Cotton Ground. People in St. Thomas Parish. People in St. Paul's. People in St. James. Have not had sight of the title up to now. So the lands were paid for. The money was collected. And the decent thing... That should have been done is to make sure that poor people get the title. So there are people right there in the island of Nevis, walking around, wondering when they're going to get their title. And I am saying to the people of Nevis, this cannot be so, it cannot be right for people to pay for their land. People expect the government to produce their title. And up to today, as a matter of fact, I'll go one step further and tell you, Persons are coming to the corporation and asking back for their money. We have had to give people back almost $140,000 in some cases for their lands because we can't produce the title. And it's no fault of the CCM. It's no fault of Alexis Jeffers as the Minister of Lands. It's not, no fault of the Premier of Nevis. But the money was left there to pay for the lands in, in Trinidad. So the company is out of their money. We are still paying yes. But my point is, an RP should not be talking about lands in the island of Nevis. They should never get a chance to control our lands again. And the fact is, the leader of the NRP is coming and saying that they want a chance to lead. And when you look behind the leader of the NRP, you see some land grabbers. Where are you going back to the land grabbers they're going? People of Nevis, be warned. Yeah? Be warned and forewarned. We are not going back there. I said before, going back is not the way forward for us in this island. We're not going back to no NRP. We're not going back to none of that nonsense as in the past. We are moving forward. So we are still paying for those lands. Unfortunately, the people, poor people, who are supposed to get their land title, have been unable to get their land title. But I'll say to you, we have a good record when it comes to land purchases. I will sit down at Herbert Beach. When we acquired those lands, we came up with a good price of 2.4 million US dollars for 13.9 acres of land. But imagine the persons who are represented, the owners, said they wanted 6 million US dollars. There was a lady by the name of Ann Bass who was going to buy those lands for over 4 million dollars. The Nevis Island Administration negotiated for 2.4 million US dollars. Imagine that. That is our record in government. Going up to Ghana's 36 acres of land, we are paying two point or two dollars and twenty-four cents a square foot for 36 acres of land. That is negotiation. Eric, you know about the lands we bought for you down there. That for you. 
but for your people down there at Rice's, they were on the market for $7 a square foot. You remember it? And we paid $3 a square foot for those lands down there at Rice's. So CCM, CCM as an administration have always put the interests of the people of Nevis first. We have always said, when we negotiate on behalf of the people of Nevis, we must be thinking first about the people. We must be thinking about their best interests. And that is why we went across to St. Kitts. And when things were not going the way that we expected to go, and we wanted it to go, we said that the people of Nevis will never forgive us if we don't stand up in St. Kitts for them. And that's why I'm pleased about that. But ladies and gentlemen, that was a little politics. Let's get back to Latoya Brianca Jones. Because she is the topic here this evening. She is the person who have come to support. Let me say to the people of Cotton Ground while I'm standing here, I want to thank you for your support in the last two federal elections. In 2020, you came out in your resounding numbers here in Cotton Ground. And I was able to come out of Cotton Ground just 13 votes behind Patrice Nisbet then. That was excellent. He told me that the people of Cotton Ground was move, they were moving in the right direction when they gave CCM that overwhelming support here in Cotton Ground. Well, I'm not from down here. Latoya is from just next door. So you can almost say she is a daughter of Cotton Ground because she travels this road all the time. And she has come and she has visited all of the households here in Cotton Ground. And I want to say to you, many times I come through Cotton Ground with her, I say, Latoya, you sure you want to go in the yard? She said, yes, I'm going. Latoya is not picking out. She wasn't picking out. Latoya, ain't, when she come and she says someone needs some assistance, she neither come and say somebody support CCM or somebody support NRP. She come and say someone from Cotton Ground, somebody from Bansgott, someone from Westbury, someone from Jessup's. Someone from Craddock Road asks for assistance and she's willing to assist them. And that is the type of attitude you should have from any representative. And even before she has placed, even before she's placed in cabinet, even before she's in government, she has already adopted that attitude that everybody must be looked after in her constituency. And I am so proud of Latoya. Many times I'm home lying down. I say, Lord, I'm tired this afternoon. Lata, I say, get up. You're going to come. Come. And I got to get up and come. She's younger than me, yes. And she have all the vim, vigor, and vitality. And when people have that energy, you have to feed off of it. And I would get up and come out and come down to St. Thomas Parish. And I go on around with Latoya. Sometime until 8 o'clock in the night. I say all that to say this. Latoya don't expect anything to be handed to her. The person who she's running against, something was handed to her. Latoya is willing to work for what she wants down here. And you know the, the essence of that and the fundamental principle here is that when you work hard, you must reciprocate that by voting for someone and reward them for working hard. And that is why I say give Latoya a vote down here. Latoya is going to be your best representative here. Based on what I've seen so far, she'll represent and represent well. And I am so pleased to say that Latoya will win the seat here and join us in the cabinet of the Nevis Island administration. You already hear all of the other ministers are saying they want Latoya beside them. They don't want Latoya here on the left or the right. I will say once Latoya is in cabinet, that is all that matters. Right in cabinet. Because the people of St. Thomas Parish deserve the best representation they can get. And I've said before, you know. I've said before and they keep, they keep chastising me for this. Joseph Parry was in opposition since 1992 to 2006. He was not in cabinet to discuss or agitate on behalf of the people of St. Thomas Parish. But when he got into cabinet, he started doing things. You know why that is so? He's there at the table. He can say he want road done. He can say he want the police station done. He could have said that he want the play field done, basketball court, and all sorts of things, community center. Those came under him. Because why? He was there to make sure 
Whatever the size of the pie was then, he wanted slice for the people of St. Thomas Parish. And I will say to you that even up in St. James, when I sit there around that table, anything I see being shared, I say, I want St. James share. Well, I got to say so because they vote for me. And if I don't fight for them, I don't work on their behalf, they'll never send me back to cabinet or to parliament. So I'm saying to St. Thomas Parish, CCM will win the next election overwhelmingly. Brandy is going to win in one. Brantley in number two. Eric in number three. I, or Zook for sure, in number four. Let me put it that way. And so, you have a government right there. So if you know the CCM is going to win, then what do you have to do? You have to vote for Latoya because you don't want an opposition member down here. You can't accomplish nothing in opposition unless you're going to come in every minute and make noise. Make noise don't get you anywhere. Making noise don't get you anywhere. So I say, if you want to make sure that things are done, Give Latai the chance. You know, Frank, you know, Mr. Brand, Honorable Brand, said to the people of Charleston, give me one chance and, I'll earn, and he'll earn the rest. The people of Charleston gave him the chance. And you see what Brand doing in Charleston? Fix up Charleston. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Road can't done. Housing. He came and he made noise for housing. He went and searched for lands. What a bang dog in this country. Brand do that. So Brand asked for the chance and he delivered. And that is why they'll vote for him down there. I gave you that illustration to say. Vote for Latoya. Give her that first chance. Give her that one chance. And over the next five years, you'll see Latoya at work. She's going to come and agitate for this road to be done. And proper drainage going all the way down to the bottom by Azzi. All this would be done. Latoya will make sure because he don't give up, you know. The road crossed by Banjo, he got that to, she got that to do. She got housing to build down here and she got to find land. Because land's all around cut ground. But she will be the one to go and ask and negotiate. And we'll get it done for her. I see good things in store for the parish of St. Thomas. With Latoya Brianka Jones as your representative. I see excellent things in store because she's a hard worker. I never see a lady lift up two carry a box of drinks. Strong look a lion. I can't even lift them up myself. Let I grab them, pick them up, and boom. Boy, you hear up an energy. That's what you need. The same way I came out young, full of energy, St. James people told me, go to work, and I've been working since. And I don't get a little older, but I still could work. So let I are younger than me. Imagine what let I going to do. Work. She's a worker. She's a decent woman, an honest woman. A woman who has people's best interests at heart. That's the type of representation you need. And so, come December 12th. Come December 12th, Lord of mercy, history is going to be made down here. History will be made down here. The ad that we have on the radio said, CCM will turn St. Thomas is blue. Blue as ever. And even if it's one vote when she's victorious, I'm going to be exceedingly glad that she would have won St. Thomas Parish. But ladies and gentlemen, a lot of things can be said about Latoya Jones. Oh, you want she when she win? So St. Thomas is alone and get she holiday. <laughs> that would be a good thing. I tell you, history going to be made on the card. The first time in the... In our lifetime, we'll see that happen. In St. Thomas is alone. Have a holiday for three days. Our holidays for three days. But ladies and gentlemen, I have been, let me go through my usual roll call. Because, you know, the premier will have to come and he will come and speak for us sometime. But let me say to the people of St. Thomas's, or even before, let me get back to that. But let me just say, Nevis one, St. Paul's. I want to make the case tonight for Spencer Brand in St. Paul's. Spencer Brand is your man down there in St. Paul's. I've said from time to time, we don't want a rare in our island. We don't want a rare in our government. Too much rare and rara on the other side. And when it's all said and done, rare and rara can't get this island nowhere. Keep rare and rara out. Decent people are down there. Decent man in Spencer Brand. A family man. A man who has worked for the people of St. Paul's. So forget both the Rere and the Rara. And vote for Spencer Brand in number one. 
In number two, our esteemed leader and premier, the Honorable Mark Brantley. Let me spend a two minutes on Mark because, you see, Mark is my friend, my colleague. We go way back and I love Mark Brantley. And if anybody could take all the licks they're trying to take punches, he can take them. But I believe sometimes it just feels somewhere. Because when people talk about you every day, you just, get, you just feel somewhere. But he has coined the phrase, ignore the noise. He has coined the phrase, ignore the noise. And he has ignored the noise for many, many years in this island. But I want to say to you, when CCM wanted that help, when CCM was to be rescued, when this island was to be rescued, when the NRP took off over 200 names in this island, off of the voters list, when people who existed, who walked past the ministers of government then, said good morning to them, or didn't say good morning to them, they go up to the electoral office and take them off. Take them off. Just like that. People were pronounced dead and all in this island and were alive, 100% alive. But Mark Brantley decided that something was done to the people of this island. An atrocity was brought upon the island of Nevis. And the democracy of Nevis was trampled upon. 1948, we were privileged to be given that right to vote. That sacred right through universal suffrage. The NRP had no respect and no regard for the people of the island of Nevis. So they took off people's names. And I want to say to the NRP, the same people's name who you took off, many of them, you are bringing them down here to vote, and they're going to come and vote against you. And I'm so glad for that. I'm so glad for that. And the same people are going to come too, because you keep saying, nothing is happening in the island. Mark Brantley has steered this ship through the most turbulent of times. Nevis looking good, good, good. Running smooth. And yet they say nothing happened. So they're going to come, and they're going to punish you for your lies. And your deceit. And I am so happy for that. Bring them. And welcome to all Nivisions who are coming home to vote. Vote for the CCM. CCM is the best party. CCM is the party that has the best interest of Nivit at heart. You are going to vote for the best premier that this island have seen in recent times. The Honorable Mark Brantley up there in Nivis too. So Mark Brantley put a tick beside that. Gone clear. And then go up to Eric. Nevis tree. I have said before and I'll say it again. It is total disrespect to the people of Gingerland to take up a man from Bansgott and he can cat back flip, front flip, all kind of flip and end up in Rollins Mountain say vote for him. Never say nothing to the people of Rollins but go up there. Boy, I would have been shamed to even walk in into Rollins and into Hanley's Road to ask for a vote. Never. I want to say to the people of Cotton Ground, not really cutting around only, but the whole of Nevis and even Gingerland. That gentleman worked under me as a minister of natural resources, disaster management, all that. He wasn't doing anything. I told the permanent secretary to transfer him to the job that Eric had at the Department of Agriculture, which was a uh, communications officer. He came. You know, they say he got a good voice. I don't know. Everybody got a voice. Good or bad? He got a voice. But anyway, he came. And he, over the life of the time he was there for a whole year, one single new episode of On The Farm. One single. Every night I sit at home on a Tuesday night, I see rerun after rerun after rerun. The man is so lazy, he didn't go out in the field to do nothing. So if he didn't work when he was in government, he didn't work when he was being paid by the government, why do you think anybody up in Ginger should vote for a man to put him back in there to be to put him in there to be a representative of anybody? You were not interested in working then. Where did the interest come from all of a sudden? Anyway, I spent too much time on him. Let me say Eric is the man up in Gingerland. And Eric done guarantee me that by eleven o'clock he's coming to help us over in St. James. By eleven o'clock he's gonna send all his troops all around the island of Nevis to assist. In all the constituencies. So Eric, you're clear. So that's three. One, two, and three. In number four. Oh my Lord, is Zook for sure in number four. And I hear them saying that somebody got chance. Whoever they're running got chance. Chance? You think the people of St. James go by chance? The people of St. James have a firm conviction. And they have the confidence in their representative Alexis Jeffers. 
They have done so since 2011. And since I've been there, I've brought a new police station, road, Shaw's Road. I've brought housing development. I've brought opportunities for people in St. James. I've brought a new water taxi facility. I've brought opportunities abound. The OJ and Playfield, all of that. And when I get up to St. James, I'll lay it out again. But I just want to tell you that while they were sleeping for 20 years, up in Round Hill, lying down, hiding from whatever they're hiding from, I was out there working. And you see I was sweating? People of St. James, you see I was sweating? When you sweat, it's the harder you work. When you sweat, you're ready to go again. So vote for Alexis Jeffers up in number four. Send me back to the cabinet of the Nevis Island administration so that I can continue working on your behalf. And then you come full circle right back to number five. Boy, number five is truly alive. You see how much energy we got down here tonight? Number five is truly alive. And we have said before, and we are saying it again. History will be made in St. Thomas, Paris, because Latoya Brianca Jones will take this seat and send Cleon home. Latoya will come to work for you. Get roads done. Get the social programs in place. Continue to work with St. Thomas Primary School. Continue to build up Barnsgott. She says she's going to build houses in Barnsgott. We got lands to get for Barnsgott. We got lands to get for Barnsgott. They say it couldn't be done. Over the years, Joseph Parry tried. Whoever before us tried, but we are just there now. That's his CCM at work. Latoya was the one who came and said she want housing in Bansgott. She want back a basketball court in Bansgott. And we said, yes, Latoya, we're going to go to work for you. So lands are coming to the people of Bansgott. Thanks to Latoya Jones. So Latoya is already working. So when it's all said and done, I believe we have made the case for Latoya. She's not here tonight, as you'd have heard. But I am so proud to stand here and speak on her behalf. Because I love Latoya. She come from humble beginnings just like I did. Just like I have done. Come from humble beginnings. But through hard work and dedication, I've gotten to where I am. And that is what is going to bring Latoya through as well. That commitment and that sense of purpose. And that love for people. And I speak from the bottom of my heart when I speak about Latoya. A young lady who in spite of the challenges and in spite of what is being said, that has not dissuaded her, not deterred her. And that is the type of people we need to represent us here on the island of Nevis. So she has gone further afield over to the federal parliament. And Lord, when she spoke that day, I said, that was pride, pride and accomplishment. And she got a long way to go, much more to do. So... Cotton Round, Jessops, Westbury, Cahoon, Cades Bay, Garrick's Pasha, wherever you are in St. Thomas Parish, Bans got her hometown, wherever you are, I am begging and I'm pleading and I'm asking you to vote for Latoya. I do not think that the cabinet will be complete without Latoya. So I feel good coming off of this stage tonight, knowing that the people of St. Thomas Parish are seeking for the best representative. And they see that in Latoya Brianca Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, that has been my quota. Lord, it was a lot of fun here tonight. I love coming on a CCM platform, boy. Feels good. But anyway, it was my pleasure being here tonight. So let me hear you make some noise. Go to vote. And December 12th, take your mother, take your father, take your grandmother, take your grandfather, take your auntie, your uncle, take everybody. And when you don't take them, go back and find some more. Everyone must go out and vote come December 12th. And we'll have a resounding victory. Thank you very much for listening. It was indeed my pleasure. Good night. Not them tall. Thank you very much, Alexis. We got some serious energy. Boy, we got serious energy in the big blue machine, you know. And you know, Mark does always say, once the big blue machine come out of the workshop, we oil and ready to go.
So that was some good, good energy there from the man who is sure in number four, the Honorable Alexis Zook Jeffers. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be calling now our final speaker tonight. But before I call the final speaker, ladies and gentlemen, I want us all to, I want to remind us to kindly say a prayer for your next representative for Davis 5, Latoya Bianca Jones. As Alexis says, she has work to do. She has work to do for you, the people of Nevis 5, of Cotton Ground and Barnes, Gotten, Jessops, and all the surrounding areas. And of course, we saw the bravery in this intelligent young woman today. She stepped forward despite, despite her little ailment. She stepped forward and placed her name on the nomination paper because that is what it needs for her to get on the ballot. She did that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are tonight, say a prayer for Latoya. We want her back on the campaign trail. And so, ladies and gentlemen, ladies, right about now, right about now, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise and welcome our leader, your leader, our premier, the premier of Nevis, the man, the man who will be returned in Nevis number two, the only sheriff, the only sheriff in town, the only sheriff in town, doctor, doctor, the honorable Mark A. G. Bradley. With CCM, trust me, it's no problem. They keep in the country strong with the momentum. Other politicians just beat around the problem. So if you want the job, get done. If he a call, 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 then. We fought it for Mark now. We fought it for Mark now. Bradley and the CCM. The job gon' get done now. We fought it for Mark Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Good evening to the good people of Cotton Ground. Good evening to the parish of St. Thomas's. It is always a pleasure to be here in St. Thomas's and more than that, to be in Cotton Ground. You have heard the speakers this evening and you would have heard that the Honorable Latoya You would have heard, ladies and gentlemen, from the speakers earlier, that the Honorable Latoya Jones is unable to be here tonight with us. But we decided that we could not abandon this meeting because we had a message to bring to the people of Cotton Ground and to the people of St. Thomas's, and that the people of St. Thomas's must realize that this party is serious about them and that we're here to represent and here to make the case for Latoya even though she cannot be here tonight. Now ladies and gentlemen, today I believe we got an indication of who Latoya Jones is. This woman of Barnes got, when I spoke to her earlier to find out whether she'll be able to make it. You know what she told me? She had to go to the hospital. And so she left hospital and came to be nominated on crutches just so she could have the opportunity to represent the people of St. Thomas's. Some other person might have said, I can't make it. The pain is too much. But Latoya today was a portrait in courage. And when I saw this young woman having to be lifted up by Eric and Alexis to be taken into the polling station at the Cotton Ground Police Station to be nominated so that she can keep her promise to the people of St. Thomas's that she will be their next representative in the cabinet. 
I said this is a portrait in courage. And tonight, I asked her how she was feeling. And she said the pain was overwhelming. But she was still trying to come to the meeting. And I said, Latoya, take it easy. You leave that to us. We, the men in CCM, will come and we will fight for the woman candidate in CCM. And that is why we have come and you have heard us. We are here to fight for her because a lot of you may not know, but in 2020 and 2022 federal election, she fought for us. She fought for Alexis. Right here in St. Thomas's. I remember we went to a house up there in Cahoons. And a young lady up there said to Alexis that she had some concerns. And she was a little strident in her concerns. And after she spoke, because when, when you go to people's house, you got to listen to them. So after she spoke and she spoke and she said what was bothering her. I asked a simple question. Will you still give Alexis your support in the election? And you know what she said? I'm going to do this one for Taya. Because I see Taya every day. She said, Alexis, I'm going to do this one for Taya. She said, you must come back and the next one maybe I'm going to do it for you. But this one, I'm going to do for Taya. There are some houses up in Craddock Road. The people tell me that Latoya Jones will behave like she lived there. She in the people's house so often. She walk in. She sit on the porch. She talk. You see, when you love people, people love you. It is not fake. When you have lived a life of service to people, politics becomes very easy. Those you see who just appear out of nowhere. Latoya said something on the platform which has resonated with me. She said, show me your record. Let us match up our records. The person who's running against her, she's from Cotton Ground, yes. And I don't come to Cotton Ground to say a bad thing. All I will say in Cotton Ground, what was her record of service before Perry pick her up and tell her, come and take the seat? What was the record? Because this is the first time that there will be a contest in St. Thomas's. When you have two, two young women coming up against each other and Latoya Jones is saying that you have seen her all of her life since she was a child until now and she has been part of this community contributing in every facet of St. Thomas's. You want an athlete? She was that. You want somebody committed to St. Thomas's primary school? She is that. You want somebody who has worked with all of the families in St. Thomas's? She's that. Mother's Day, she take up nearly half of St. Thomas's, carried them along by sunshine. When she called me, I said, my guru God, how are we going to pay for that? She said, you don't worry about that. The mothers of St. Thomas's must be shown some love on Mother's Day. I hear Spencer Brand up here talking. And what Spencer did not tell you is how he used to complain. Say how this girl in his head and in his phone every day agitating for St. Thomas's. Latoya says she want road done and she's not going to stop. That cotton ground play field at that dangerous wall. She said so long as she's there the wall has to be fixed. And by the grace of God, it is not fixed. The only reason those roads by Banjo have not yet been done, we had some issues with the pipes, but the roads will be done. And the big thing, the big thing, and what I give her so much credit for, is that she said that her beloved Barnes got, the people of Barnes got have been crying out. They're saying there's no way to expand the village. Because all around Barnes got is some of the most expensive real estate in Nevis. You got Four Seasons, you have Fern Hill, you have Paradise. And Barnes got people are saying that they don't have the opportunity to expand their village. Latoya said something had to be done. 
We went up there. We had a meeting up there. And the people of Barnes got were agitating. And she said something had to be done. And I'm so happy tonight to say that we have negotiated some lands in Barnsgut which will be made available to the people of Barnsgut so they can expand their village. When others said it could not be done, Latoya Jones and the CCM has made it possible for it to be done. Now, the question I have, Cotton Ground, if a young woman is able to do so much and she not in government, Able to do so much, she's not in cabinet. Able to do so much, and she's not in parliament. Well, could you imagine what she would do when she takes her seat after the 12th of December in the cabinet of the Nevis Island administration? I see all kind of man and make noise, all who said they want to tie sit down by them. Eric said, she got to be by he. Zook said, she got to be by he. I am here tonight to say that wherever she chooses to sit, all that I know is that she will be sitting in the cabinet in the Nevis Island administration come December 13th. Matter of fact, there's a chair in that cabinet and I have already said to them, you might as well put on that chair Latoya Bianca Jones. Because you see in this life, in this life, what is for you is for you. In this life, people will plot and scheme and try all manner of evil against you. But who God bless, no man curse. I can talk, you know, because I have seen it all. I have seen and experienced it all. I have seen them come for me. The NRP, some elections ago, put up a billboard about my deceased mother. That's how nasty the NRP is. I think I know them. When, NR, when, when Latoya Jones was announced, immediately they started the attacks on her. You think I know them? But what I love about her response, she said, Cussing can't create one job. Cussing can't build one house for nobody in St. Thomas's. Cussing can't give Barnes got people land to expand Barnes got. Cussing can't fix cotton ground roads. And she understands that the only thing that matters in politics is to have issues that improve the lives of our people. And when I see a young woman with that kind of ability, that level of vim, vigor, and vitality, Lord, I'm so glad she got it because, like Zook said, he who am asleep, Latoya said, boy, get up. Get up, lobby, go. People over St. Thomas is want to see you. And Alexis got up and he got the job done. And that is why I am saying that the people over here, Latoya is no stranger. You have seen her at work. You have seen her in her youth. You have seen her as an adult. She has been involved with everything that there is to be involved with. And you compare her to others. There's a leader of the NRP now. Not a soul in Nevis know a thing about her. They don't know a thing. Some say they see her. She likes to drink a little Guinness. But other than having a Guinness from time to time, nobody knows anything about her. Because for 20 years, she lived in Nevis and she involved herself in absolutely nothing. No church group. No school group, no youth group, no community group. She has never sponsored so much as a little child going to primary school. She has done nothing in the community for 20 years. And then all of a sudden, she kinny cat and become leader of NRP. And I'm going to say it tonight in Cotton Ground, that Cotton Ground people, you all need to hear it and you all know it's true. The only reason Janice became leader of NRP was to keep out Cleon. You all know it? When Cleon was supposed to become the leader, those in NRP said, not she. Not she. And that is why they went and dust off Janice. Janice 60 something years old. Where Janice ago? Nobody know Janice. But they insisted that they did not want the daughter of Cotton Ground. 
And that is the NRP that you are going to vote for? That is the NRP? I believe all of you over here know that there was a plan afoot for her to move to St. Thomas's and push out Cleon. You all know it. I am not talking tears of the school. They said St. Thomas is a safe seat, so she wanted to move to St. Thomas's and push out Cleon. But I can make a prediction here tonight. Tonight I will tell you that when December 12th, that Monday that the Lord would have made, when that day comes and the people go out in their number and vote overwhelmingly for the Concerned Citizens Movement, that in number one, the Honorable Spencer Brand, in number two, the Honorable Mark Brantley, in number three, the Honorable Eric Evelyn, in number four, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, and right here in number five, it will be the Honorable Latoya Bianca Jones. It's going to be all five for the Concerned Citizens Movement. When the Saints go marching in on December 12th, Latoya Bianca Jones will be in that number. And I will tell you further that come December 13th, a lot of them who know say they're politicians, a lot of them who know say they're running, will be retired again. They will be retired again. I know for sure. The one up by me, number two, she ain't going past this election. Because she never came for the right reasons. I know for sure that the leader of NRP is going to go back to not talking to people because she did not come for the right reasons to politics. And I know... I know for sure that the boy up in Gingerland who kitty cat over tongue and then kitty cat over St. John's. How you re how you leave Barnes got? How if you leave Barnes got and you want to get to Gingerland? If you go so, you got to kitty cat over St. James. If you go so, you got to kitty cat over tongue and then over St. John's before you could get up there. How the boy the kidney cat and cut a flam and all kind of somersault and reach a gingerland. They say you're paralyzing the axe. We part up your be. You don't have any part your axe. We part down your be. You mean to tell me that with all the mouth that some of them in NRP have, they couldn't find one candidate for the NRP out of the whole of St. George? Every radio station, the man is station, I bang them out. But I don't tell all you about my brown dog buster. I tell you all that my brown dog buster. Buster speaks hard on radio. And my brown dog used to bark hard when he tied. But the minute you let go buster under the floor. All you young people don't know about under the floor because I got a wall house. But when we were small, everybody had house on stone. So under the floor was a space. And that way the dog used to run under the floor. Because the dog only got bluster. The dog got plenty rah, rah, rah. But when the time come, the dog no got no fight. That is the reason why they couldn't find anybody to bring to Gingerland. They got a bunch of dogs who no got no fight in them. And so they come over here and they lie, they take up poor Rohan. They take up poor Rohan. And I don't understand why. But as Alexis said, let us not waste time. I believe that the people of Gingerland will stick and stay with the Honorable Eric Evelyn. Because they're all in with Evelyn. And then you go over there to St. James. St. James has a man that you have seen from small. You have a man that gave up his U.S. passport to be able to serve the people of St. James. You have a man who has created one of the best housing developments, not only in Nevis, not only in St. Kitts, Nevis, but in the Caribbean over there at Madden's. Show me one that is better. I took some people over there from the Commonwealth. A lady was there from Africa. 
And she said to me she needed to take some photos because she couldn't believe that this was government housing. I said, yes, done by the Honorable Alexis Jeffers. You look at the water taxi pier. They, the NRP, are so mischievous. They're so, what word I should use for them? They like to tell enough lies. When I was young, I had a lot, of, a lot of words. I used to say they misspeak. But Lord, nowadays you just got to call it what it is. Them to lie. So them gone over there, hear yeah, them? They say they don't see where six million dollars was spent on the water taxi pier. And I say, listen to these people. So, how are you going to build a pier without buying or having land for the pier to connect to? You just gonna take up a pier and put it in the ocean. So when the water taxi come and it dock in the ocean, how the people gonna get to shore? So the first thing we had to do was to buy the land that was there and the house that was there. You all remember? The house is still there now. It's been renovated. And we had to pay for that. That alone was well over $3 million. And then we had to go now and build the structure that was the pier. But the way they tell you, oh, the pier ain't cost $6 million. You would start to think that it was only the structure that is the pier. Forgetting that we had to buy the real estate to then allow us to build the pier that connects to the real estate. So when you come there, you walk off the pier and you walk on land. Because people can't walk on ocean. Only Jesus could do that. So, this is the dishonesty. They go around leave. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Imagine, and I don't really want to get into too much personal people, personal business. But some of the things that the NRP does, we have to expose. The other day, I see them with a big hollow below on social media. Say, me, Vicky and Orvinson, fire some woman who they say is one of their supporters. Who was down in Jessup up and down. Says she had throw oil all over upon people. Says she had blessed them. They say, I fired the woman. And my good cousin, Pat, go up on Facebook and say, oh, me so wicked and bad and terrible. So I call up and I said to the permanent secretary, well, permanent secretary, how you can fire a whole woman and me no know? The permanent secretary tell me I will send you the letter that I sent to her. My goodness, when I read the letter. Dear madam, you have complained that the environment in which you work now is not good for you. You say you got some kind of disorder, you can't come to work. Okay. You have asked for a transfer, we will grant you the transfer effective January. Since you say the environment is not good for you, you can stay home for the month of December with pay until January. I said, my goodness gracious. Imagine you get the whole of December half with pay to come back to a new position in January and you up and down and tell people how oh, this good, good, decent CCM government fire you. And you know what they've done? They start to talk about, oh, oh, a single mother. That's, let me tell you something, you know. NRP, I tell you the way they do things. Single mother. Fired by this government, nothing tall go so. Nothing go so. And that is what I find to be so dangerous about their approach to governance, their inability to come to the people and speak to the people in plain terms. Listen, I am here standing as the Premier of Nevis. I am not perfect. This government has not been a perfect government. But no government and no person is perfect. I tell people, if you believe in your Bible, Jesus was perfect. Adam was perfect. Eve was perfect. And you know what? Adam fooled Eve. Or Eve fooled Adam. Whoever fooled who. And all of us now end up imperfect. Because we are born and inherited sin. That's what the Bible tells us. And the perfect man was Jesus. They crucify him. So, I am simply saying that whilst we are not perfect and the government is not perfect, we believe in being honest with the people. 
And if something can happen, we tell it can happen. If we have had difficulties, we come and we tell it we have had difficulties. I don't understand a party that wants to lead the island of Nevis and everything that comes out of their mouth is a lie. It means you can't trust them. You can't trust anything they tell you. I see them up and down tongue, walking like they're practicing for some carnival troop. Say, Sugar Mass 51, let them march for Sugar Mass. And they're marching for Sugar Mass in town and hear them. They have had electoral irregularities at the office. And then I hear Hen up. I remember Hensley, the one who was the beneficiary of that black fox in the cox box. And Hen up. Hear Hen up. I hear Hen up. Oh, we're going to march against them. There will be marched on the road against them. And I say, if Hennop had any shame, Hennop would have stopped home. When Janice called Hennop, Hennop should have said, Lord, Janice, my belly hurt me. Not me. Because Hennop has the dubious distinction of being the only politician in the history of Nevis has been declared null and void. Null and void. And I don't understand why a party which was denied an election because of the court intervention to say to them that they engage in massive electoral fraud will now come to say they're lecturing us. Y'all ever hear the devil can correct sin? Huh? The devil is the author of sin. He can't correct sin. Alexis spoke about it tonight. They got the dust off old Joe. They say, Parry, come, come, we need help. And Parry start to talk about land. Parry, you got the heart to talk about land in Nevis. When you take up people land left, right, and center, and not pay them. Huh? Down there, down there at West Haven, I'm going to talk the things, you know. Down there at West Haven, the taxpayers of Nevis now owe over 10 million US dollars. Because Parry, them take up West Haven and not pay the people. No pay them. And so we now have that burden. You and your children have that burden to find that money to pay. And they're talking about land. Up here, right here in Cahoons, they take up people land up there. No pay them. This government had to make good. Alexis, you remember that? Had to find the money to pay them. All those lands up in Nugent Heights, those Pinnis lands, they sell the land. God alone knows what they do with the money, but they not pay back Trinidad. And Alexis is telling you tonight that so far this government has had to pay $6.9 million to Trinidad. And to this day, some people cannot get their title. And they want to talk about land. They'll take some land from a man down in Jessup's, down at the beach. Every day the man called me, asked me, what happened to their money? In fact, he said he want back in land. That is what the NRP did. Up government road and the top of government road. I'm going to talk the things because if they think they're going to come and attack this government which has done things properly, you know, cotton ground, under our constitution, we are required each year to put in the Nevis Island Assembly to lay on the table the statement of audit and accounts for the Nevis Island Administration. Why is that important? That is important because it tells you how much money the government make, how much money the government spent. And it tells you what the spending was on. So if you build a road in cotton ground, it will tell you $10 million on a road in cotton ground. And that is that auditor's report that provides an independent check on the government. Because the audit office is independent. They don't take instructions from me. Independent. You know, NRP took office in 2006. And 2006, come and gone. 2007, 8, 9, 10, 11 empty for the election. So then up stay until 12 and 13 until we remove them from office. So seven years. And they never once put an audited report in the parliament. Not once. 
So for all of those years, the government operated unconstitutionally. The government operated with nobody knowing how much we were gaining, how much we were spending, what projects we were spending on. And now they come and they say, oh, they want transparency. And what is the transparency that they want when they were there? This government introduced integrity in public life legislation. And all the ministers have had to file with the Integrity Commission their assets and liabilities. I remember when we talked about it, the response from the NRP is that we don't need no legislation. But you see, that's the problem. When you thief and you're accustomed to thief, you don't want to hear nobody talk about locking up thief. And then they come now and they start to talk about transparency and openness and good governance. But they had an opportunity to show. And I will share with you tonight. When all these young women, well, some of them not so young. So let me say when these women. When they came into the political arena and they had this thing about women and women power and they bring in a different approach. I am not a woman, but I was glad because I said that this will be a different approach to our politics. And after I heard them, after I heard them, I heard all that they had to say. I went into the parliament. And I said, the only difference is that they now wear lipstick and mascara. Because in terms of their mentality, in terms of what they're saying, in terms of what they're bringing, is the same old cocky frock. Not a thing has changed about the NRP. Same old cocky frock. That is all they brought. No new ideas, no new approach. They go down sink it every week and all of this cost Nevis. Imagine Pat Bartlett, who born a brown hill, grew a brown hill, and now work for government all these years, retired. Gone to sink it. Pan radio station now. They go tell sink it people that she want them to come Nevis to manage our election because they fear her. They're more capable than us. They're fairer than us. And they're going to manage the election better. We have had elections in this country and this island run for years by Nevis and Nevisions. And the only time an election ever thief are in our pity from. But they now go instead of bringing people from Sinkits. And I, listen, I'm not shipping you now. A lot of I don't say all kind of things I want me to say all kind of things, but I'm not going to cuss my cousin. You know? Because my cousin done sip on the same radio station. She voted for me. She said, let me, let me share something with you. I voted for him in the last election. And me don't tell her she's going to vote for me. Because when Pat goes into the voting station, Pat see she name, Pat see my name, Pat knows she can't do the work. Pat knows she's not capable and not willing and not able and not interested in doing the work. Pat knows say, Lord, I vex with my cousin because he tell me I got to retire. I wanted to stay till I was 100 and he tell me I had to go at 60. That really is the only thing I got against him, you know. Let me vote for my country and let me vote for CCM. And that's what she did. In the last election. And she's going to do it again. Because when you're accustomed to do things. And do things right. It's hard to depart from it. So Pat. Me now cost you here. Me thank you. Me make a little comment about you the other day. And everybody start to cuss. So me stop. Me now say a bad thing about you. I want to thank you for your support. And I want to encourage you to bring others with you. CCM is the way to go. So. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to support LaToya. We feel that LaToya has what it takes to take this constituency to the next level. When we looked and we saw how she handled the national parliament, let me tell you, the national parliament is the biggest stage in St. Davis, you know. It's the biggest stage. And when she sat up there and she said ramrod straight, you know, 
She not slouch like me. She not lean back. She's sitting straight. And she said, I recognize the honorable member for number two. When he, then they don't talk and sit down. I recognize the honorable member for number three. Cool and calm. You wanted to ask the question. This really a young girl from Barnes got? This really Miss Dewberry Grand Picnic? Because a young woman from Barnes got sit down in a big chair like that and she behaved as if she was born. She made for it. Some people are called and some are chosen. The young woman is blessed. She has the necessary talents. And I want you, the people of Cotton Ground and the people of St. Thomas's, send her to work. Send her to work. Allow her to come into the cabinet to represent you. So when Zook in there make noise for St. James, when Eric make a noise, want everything at Gingerland, when Brand say he want more road and he want more house and he want more water in St. Paul's, when I say I am the premier and I want something in St. John's, I want Latoya to put up a hand and say, do not forget about St. Thomas's. The people of St. Thomas's need development. And the people of St. Thomas's, you have been in opposition for far too long. For far too long, you've been in opposition. From 1992, from 1992 until 2006, 14 years you were in opposition. 2006, you were able to go into office. And that is the only period that you had some representation in the cabinet. 2013, St. Thomas's went back into opposition. And here you are now, nearly 10 years later. St. Thomas's. Since 1992, you have spent too long in opposition. And since we know that Zook for sure in four, we know it's all in with Evelyn in three. We know that no matter what I'm doing, they can't bang me up in two. They know that it's Spencer brand, the only brand in town in one. Then what are you going to do? Are you going back in opposition again? No. Send Latoya Jones to do the work. Sign she up. There's some song where sign me up for the work. Sign up the young lady. Latoya, wherever you are tonight, we're praying for you. We are hopeful that you will have a speedy recovery. We want you back on the campaign trail. But we are here to tell you don't worry because the CCM, the big blue machine, will be rolling out throughout St. Thomas's. And we will be working on your behalf because we know that the only change that is coming to Nevis is coming to St. Thomas's. It is time for the people of St. Thomas's to have representation that they can depend on. And it is time that the NRP stops taking St. Thomas's for granted. When I got into office and I became Premier of Nevis, I said, listen, every seat in Nevis we will fight for. The days of talking about St. Thomas's is NRP. Them days done. Done. This is now a battleground. It is now a battleground. And it has become a battleground. Because the people of St. Thomas's are saying it's all the way with LBJ. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't leave the stage in Cotton Ground without asking you, CCM, CCM, are you ready? Well, if you're ready, I want you to wake up the whole of Cotton Ground. Wake up St. Thomas says, CCM, make some noise. Wake them up. Wake them up. It's all the way with LBJ. Good night and God bless you.
Ladies and gentlemen, you couldn't have had a better presentation from the leader, the leader of the CCM and the premier of Nevis, and who will be the next premier come the 13th of December. Thank you very much, Honorable Premier, for that excellent presentation and for waking up Cotton Ground and for waking up St. Thomas's. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a wonderful meeting tonight. We want to thank all the good folks for coming out in your numbers. Thank you for coming out. And our next meeting, ladies and gentlemen, our next meeting will be in Gingerland next to Best Buy on Thursday. Then on Friday, we roll into Brown Hill. Then on Saturday, we go to Brick Hill. And Sunday, Sunday, we wind up at Caribbean Cove. So see you in Gingerland on Thursday, Brown Hill on Friday, Brick Hill on Saturday, and the Cove on Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out. God bless. Have a good night. Get home safely. It's hammer time!